quite the bump. I have to say myself, it's quite big. Hey everyone, welcome back to my week 36 twin pregnancy update. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Oh my God, I'm at 36 weeks. Oh, holy cow. I can't believe I'm here. This is amazing. Uh, this is, I suppose, is considered full term for twins, apparently. Um, or it's a lot of time, like a lot of the time they, people will choose to um, get induced at 36 weeks with twins. So yeah, I guess they're like basically full term twins now. Yeah, I'm getting so many questions about people being like, when are the babies coming? What, like... You know, when's it happening? Do you have a date? Blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, that's just not my vibe at all. I, I don't, I don't, um, for me personally, I just don't believe in having a date. Um, I trust in mother nature really, really a, a lot. <laughs> and, um, and I just truly trust in the babies and I know that the babies will come when they're meant to come. And, um, like I said in my last video, could be today, could be any minute, or could be in like a month from now, or like five weeks from now. I've heard of twin moms that go on to having their babies at 40, 41 weeks, so, you know, it sort of, um, depends like what your interpretation of, um, normal is. You know, for me, it's normal to, to wait until... The babies are like, okay, we're coming right now, um, instead of sort of needing to know when they're going to come. You know, patience isn't something that's uh, really cultivated in our culture. Everyone wants to, um, you know, lose 10 pounds in a day and have a specific day when they know that their baby is going to arrive and you know make a million dollars in a day whatever it is like there's not really like as much respect for being patient and the journey and the waiting and um, I read this really interesting thing I sent it to Matisse yesterday it's hurry up go into labor hurry up give birth hurry up get them out of your arms hurry up wean them hurry up get them out of your bed hurry up, get them sleeping all night, hurry, 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 gone. And, you know, that just like really resonated with me because looking back on, um, you know, go, having gone through this experience before, I definitely can resonate with that. There's definitely this, um, this pressure around like making the time go by really fast. And the truth is, is that it, it already goes by so fast that if you don't just take the time to slow down and and enjoy it and let things happen the way that they're supposed to then um, then I don't know for me like there was a few things that we definitely sped up um, with Safi and I I wish more than anything now that I could go back and get that time back so I just really believe in just being here now enjoying it for as much as you can, as much as I can. It's not easy. It's not the easy way out maybe, but um, but for me, it's it's the way that does feel much better. And um, and I know that this is my journey and my path and, and this is how how I like to to do things. So, um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Just like literally just patiently enjoying this in between time and um yeah this is where this is where like the transformation happens there are secret nuggets that happen and come through during this time um you know whether it be having a bad day like this last week was especially difficult I had um a cold I don't know if you can still hear it but I've had a cold for like a week now um, just like sniffles and, and I had a sore throat for a couple days and stuff. And, you know, it's a drag when you're sick and you're, I'm, you know, pregnant with twins, 36 weeks pregnant with twins. And it was really pushing me to my limits for a few days there. Cause I was like, oh my God, I, 
uh, like I can't, what do I do? Like how can things get any worse? And then, but it's like in those days of being able to just like sit with myself, breathe through it and know that I'm going to get through it. That's where the transformation happens. It's not in the avoidance. It's not in the, um, pretending it's not happening. It's not in the, um, you know, false positivity. Um, it's in the just sitting and being with it and not running from it. That's, that's where, you know, that's where we can like rise and really get to the other side and, and, and feel good. So, you know, sitting with the, the discomfort that I have found to be, um, the most transformative and it just like every single day that I get through every moment that I get through that's so incredibly uncomfortable I'm just like this is preparing me this is making me stronger this is making me stronger as a person and as a mother especially to be a mother of uh, twins you know like you have to be strong and I know that this pregnancy is just gonna make me like so much stronger as a person and um and then having twins is just gonna be like constant 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 uh, like you know just learning and and changing and growing and evolving and um yeah it's scary it's scary to to know like because during this time you know things are one way and then they're going to be a completely different way and it's scary to be on the brink of that because it's like, oh my God, oh, what is it going to actually be like? You know, it's, and I've never heard of a, um, a twin mother say that having twins is, uh, easy, but I've also never heard of, um, motherhood as being easy just in general. It's, it's like the hardest job in the world. Um, but also the most incredible. So it's, um... But yeah, I think it's just about like shifting, shifting my expectations. Like at least now I know like I'm going to be awake all night feeding babies for probably, maybe not all night for at least a year, but, um, you know, I'm going to be getting up at nights for probably at least a year to 18 months. Um, and you never know, maybe we'll have those like magic babies that just love to sleep all the time, but those <laughs> those are few and far between. But at least I have that expectation of knowing sort of what it's gonna be like. And, um, and cause the first time around I was like, I, I like to call it the initiation <laughs> when you first become um, a parent because you're like, oh my God, like this is craziness. Um, you know, and so if you just shift your expectation around it and be like, this is what it's going to be like, it's going to be challenging. I am going to be feeding around the clock. I am going to be uh, changing diapers all the time. Um, you know, I am going to be cleaning up messes and, and there's going to be tears and there's going to be confusion and, and all sorts of things. But then there's going to be there's just like those moments where it's so incredibly amazing. It's like the best thing in the world. And you're like, wow, this is actually what life is. This is what being alive is. And this is what being present is like. It's truly, there's nothing that makes you more present than, um, than having babies. That's for sure. And, and kids and toddlers and oh my goodness, they just always make you be in the moment. So it's a pretty cool, incredible thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have anything new to report this week, obviously, other than just like being, getting bigger and bigger um, and just being in this in-between time and, and, um, and enjoying it as much as I can. And so yeah, let's go on to the app. Okay, so now the babies are the size of a head of romaine lettuce. Cool. So the babies 
will look now pretty much the same as they will once they're born. So they're probably like a little bit chunkier. They are, they weigh around 6.2 pounds and they're about 18.6 inches. Their digestive systems are getting prepped and um, their lungs are fully formed and able to expand to breathe in and out by this time. The baby is breathing in amniotic fluid now through um, the umbilical cord. So yeah, I think that's like all I really have to report on this week. And that leaves us with uh, doing a bump shot. So I'm wearing a dress, so this is... <sighs> I feel like on film and like in photos and stuff, you really actually can't see how big I am. Um, but it's quite, it's quite the bump. I have to say myself, it's quite big. It's really big. It's really heavy. It is, it is, it's so heavy. It's so much heaviness to carry. When they come out of me, I swear I'm gonna be like, this is what I was holding in me all that time. Like, it's so heavy. Thank you so much for tuning into my update. And hopefully we'll see you next week for week 37. Okay, ciao for now. Bye.